So I've had this goal. I want to run at least one 100 mile week. 100 mile week. A 100 mile week. Yeah, I didn't even come close to that. With 2019 coming to an end, I've been overwhelmed by this sense of failure. Did I do enough this year? What should I have done differently? What did I actually accomplish? I was focusing on the negative rather than the positives. Amazing things happened this year. We created a sold out Tiger Claw, our first trail race that exceeded all expectations. I dropped a new album that debuted at number one on iTunes electronic album charts for weeks. We ran with hundreds of runners from around the world during our fourth annual Ginger Runner Global Run. I paced a friend to his first 100 mile finish and I attempted my own 100 miler and learned more about myself than ever before. I got to run in amazing places with the people that matter most through a variety of conditions. I saw mountaintops, waterfalls, snowy single track, and even experienced the biggest running party in the desert. 2019 was ripe with life, lessons, and triumphs. With just a few weeks left in the year, I had time for one last project that I've wanted to tackle for years. There was no better time than the present to run my first ever 100 mile training week. Happy Monday, everybody. Day one of my 100 mile week challenge. I haven't done anything like this before. I've come close. Those were daring periods where I was building up for big races like Cascade Crest. And uh, I remember those weeks being exhausting. So here I am years later. I've been working with a great coach, David Roach. He's incredibly supportive. And when I told him I wanted to do this, he's like, yes. Over the next seven days, I'm gonna do my best to reach 100 miles of running this week. So before I start, here's how this will all break down. Uh, Monday, today, I'll be doing 15 miles. Tuesday, I'll be doing 10 miles. Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be splitting it between two runs per day, one 10 and one five miler. On Friday, it's more of a relaxed uh, day. I'm gonna be doing eight miles. And then we've got a 20 miler on Saturday and a 17 miler on Sunday. It's a very free form 100 mile week because that's the goal is 100 miles. It's not volume leading up to training for something. It is its own thing. Now, a lot of you watching may be watching this and going, dude, 100 miles in a week, that's not a lot. And some of you might be watching going 100 miles in a week, uh, never. Basically, this is a big challenge for me. One, because I've never done it before. And two, as a mid packer, it just takes a lot longer for me to reach 100 miles of running. So to help mitigate that this week, I'm gonna try to incorporate as much flat road running as possible. I might do some trail running later in the week. My goal is three parts. Reach 100 miles, stay healthy and injury free, and have fun. That last one being the most important. So as I sit here and work up the courage to get out of the car and start run number one, I hope you have a unique, fun challenge that you can take on to see if you can do it. Worst thing that happens, you don't. Best thing that happens, you do. And you learn a little bit about yourself in the process. So, let's go run 15 miles. It's so cold. About five miles into this thing, taking it nice and easy, having a blast. I mean, the weather today is incredible. Just under 10 miles left on the first day of my 100 mile week. Let's get it. Getting it done, one mile at a time. It doesn't matter how fast. 10 miles in, five left. Right behind me there is Seward Park. Just have to do one loop of that and then we're done. Seattle geese are ass. You do not want to with them because they will right back. It is so beautiful here. It's pretty small, but it's got plenty of places to run. I'll take you into the trails later this week. Lots of beautiful sights. And done. 15 miles, just over two hours. Feel great. 
first run of the week done 15 miles on a Monday. This is the first time I've ever run 15 miles on a Monday. Feel good. Um, I think my body is going to definitely want trails this week. Uh, running on road for you know hours at a time, my body's just not used to it. So I am so happy to be done with the first run. I mean, this is just the beginning. It's gonna be a big week. I need to be diligent about keeping it super easy and not wanting to push myself too hard. I have to remember the goal is just to get to 100 miles. Day one comes to an end. Now I need to focus on recovery, eating, sleeping, and getting ready for tomorrow's 10 miler. Oh boy. This is gonna be a week. What did I get myself into? <laughs> <laughs> Day two of the 100 mile week, and I feel pretty good after yesterday's 15 miles. Um, a little achy in some of the joints, and I figured that's just because they're running on a road. So we're moving to the trails today. I got 10 easy miles. I'm not alone. I actually get to run with someone today, and I'm excited about it. It's me. <laughs> Should be fun. The rain is holding out. Cougar Mountain, we're coming for you. Let's go. Let's get 10. Trying to beat the sunset. Let's get the legs moving. I want to take a quick second to thank this beautiful lady for being so supportive this week. When I presented the project to her, she was like, hell yeah, super supportive. Thanks, babe. You're gonna crush it. Crush. And when I asked her if she wanted to do a 100 mile week as well, her response. <laughs> no. That was pretty good. But I love getting to run some miles with her. Come on. No. Come on. Ah. Kim found a small patch of ice to play on. Okay, that's fun. Just a couple miles left. The sun is disappearing. I'm just now beginning to feel like the body is warming up. Not much longer out here. Get to enjoy today with my lady. Let's get it done. Bye bye, son. Bye bye. This is it. Countdown for the last mile. And, and 10. Just got it at the car here, perfect. That is a wrap on day two. Nice job. Nice. Tomorrow, day three, is my first double of the week. I've got 10 miles and five miles. I'm excited though, two days down, 25 miles, 75 to go. I'm happy. It is entirely too early, but it is day three, Wednesday, and I have my first double day. We're gonna start with a nice, easy five mile run this morning. We'll do our 10 mile this afternoon. The good news is that I should be done with this run pretty quickly. I'll show you. See, I told you it'd be fast. Felt like I was running through wet concrete, but luckily I have another run in a couple of hours to make up for it. Day three, run number two. Got 10 miles on the docket, and we are back at the trails in the middle of a cloud. Surprised to see it so foggy out here, but it just adds to the ambiance. Gonna take it nice and easy, click them off. Here we go. We're just about halfway through, five miles down, and uh, legs are actually feeling much better than I thought. There's a lot of facets to this other than just the mileage. Nutrition, sleep, scheduling, it's all part of the equation. And so today was kind of the first day where I kind of got a dose of the challenges. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy the last five miles of the day in this beautiful foggy weather with Kim and Darren. I hope the smile stays on my face for the rest of the week. Just a couple miles left. It is getting dark. We knew this would happen. We came prepared. Headlamps, activate. Right. 
And just like that, we are done. Sorry about the lighting. It's obviously well past sunset now. 10 miles, second run of the day, complete. Really strong legs today. I don't know why that happened, but it felt pretty good. So tomorrow, hopefully, will be as good as today. Double day, 10 and five. Time to go home, eat lots of food, sleep lots of hours. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everybody. Day four, run number one. I have 10 miles on the docket this morning. Beautiful, crisp winter morning, so I'm gonna get the miles done as quickly as possible. Back down here uh, near Seward Park in Seattle, I'm gonna run some trails, some road, a little bit of mix of everything. Body's holding up much better than I anticipated by this point. Today, I'll be reaching the halfway mark. Pretty exciting. Let's go. Okay, so we're on the trails of Seward Park, which aren't much, it's not a lot, but for an in-city park, it's pretty small. It's a really great little two-mile loop, so I'll do a couple loops in the park, head back out to the waterfront, and get this done. Some of you who are like, why the hell is he wearing a hydration pack? None of his runs are very long. Well, I absolutely love this thing, purely for taking the objects out of my hands. I've got my water, I've got my food, I've got two cameras to film this, I've got extra layers, extra lights. I can basically pack this thing at the beginning of the week and for every run, just grab it and go. Very handy, even if I'm not going out for very long. That's why. Ooh, almost halfway there. Let's go. Leave it to me to miscalculate my mileage. I was a half mile short, so I'm just adding a little bit extra to get my 10. This week is catching up. And 10. That is it for run number one. Those last few miles are actually pretty telling. Now that I'm exactly halfway through this 100 mile week, my legs are letting me know. So the last few miles there were tougher than I expected. I have one more run on the day, four more on the week. I can smell the finish line and it smells like pizza. All right, see you in a bit. So it is now past sunset. I still have a five mile run to do. We got all our work done today, but um, we're gonna miss daylight on this last five miles. Luckily, I have a partner. Hi! Oh boy. <laughs> Hi, buddy! Five miles on the docket. It is pitch black out, so we've got our extra lighting. I'm gonna keep this run super quick and easy, so uh, you're gonna enjoy the next 10 seconds of editing. And five miles, done. Second run of the day, done. 55 miles on the week, done. 55% done with this thing. The next three days are gonna be the toughest. Eight miles tomorrow, 20 on Saturday, 17 on Sunday. I've gotten this far, I'm not quitting now. What a fun experiment, highly encouraged. At least at this point. We'll see about that on Saturday. Whew. It is now day five, Friday, and we have eight easy on the docket. I'm being joined by my buddy Darren, who's going to accompany me. I think today is the first day that I'm really seeing sort of the seams fray. It's just putting a lot of miles on the body, especially a lot of time running a mix of roads and trails, which isn't always what I do. So while energy-wise, I'm actually doing better than I thought at this point, it's really my body not wanting to hold up for the whole time. For the whole week, we're past halfway, which is pretty exciting, but the next couple of runs, are gonna matter the most. Let's have some fun, Darren. I had to uh, de-layer there, it got super warm. The forecast called for rain and cold, but so far, this whole week has been pretty damn incredible, but enjoying the trails. Good job, Darren, good job.
side conversation. So Darren and I were just talking about games we used to play as kids. About three weeks ago, a game I used to play as a kid popped into my head. I haven't thought about it in decades. It's called Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. You get your group of kids together, you'd split them up, put them on either side of a house, then get a whistling Nerf football, and you'd yell, Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. You'd throw the football, the other team would catch it, run around the house, tag people. All the rules are pretty foggy, but I'm curious, is this a game that multiple people have heard of, or is it one of those that just me and my friends made up? Because I have no idea. Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. Yeah, that's the weird mushy place that my brain's in right now. Day five is going great. Obviously, we didn't beat the sun. It is dark. Of course, we got our headlamps, but we won't need them because we have a mile left. And then we're done with Friday. How's that make you feel, Darren? Yay! Yay! Dropping these miles in my pocket. And done. That is it. Eight miles done on the day. Um, before we sort of wrap up today and go into tomorrow, which is going to be a doozy, just some thoughts on this whole thing. I can't believe that my body allowed me to run 63 miles in five days. Just the amount of miles on the muscles and joints, scheduling everything with morning and evening runs, splitting it up. It's a lot to try to conquer for someone like me who's not used to doing this. But for now, I am pleased and not looking forward to 20 miles tomorrow. But that's what we got left. I'm about ready to put a bow on this thing. It's exciting. High five you. Nice. Whee! Second to last day, 20 miles. And of course, oh. there's some hiccups. So last night, our poor dog got sick every hour on the hour. Sleep was a luxury and going into the longest run of the week. I was hoping to get a good night's sleep. That's just the way things happen and I'm very thankful for Kim. She did everything she could to allow me to sleep and she's at home right now not running with us because she's taking care of the dog. She's incredibly supportive of this project and just wanting me to get it done. I'm wanting to get it done. The rain has held off all week. It decided to make its appearance today. It's going to be a long, wet and muddy 20 miles, but I'm here for it. Wet. It's raining. It's going to be a messy one. <laughs> about a quarter of the way into this thing, and I'm surprised at how much I'm already feeling it. I feel like the lack of sleep last night mixed with 63 miles on the legs has sort of made me quite lethargic today. All systems are not a go. Everything's a little off, and uh, my mind is in a dark place, so. I'm gonna probably call an audible and sort of keep the loops out here on the trails a little bit easier rather than going for vert. Goal is just the mileage after all. I got a couple hours of running ahead, slowly but surely. All right, just got back to the parking lot because I had some major chafing issues, so I had to uh, use some squirrels to remedy that. But then I get surprised by two good friends, Andrew and Mandy. They're gonna join us for a couple of miles, so it'll be fun. But a half marathon left. Hi, buddy. I will tell you, nothing can pull you out of a bit of a hole like friends. Oh, I was feeling like shit the first few hours, but having some friends join up just lifts the spirits. Of just about eight miles left, and then we're done on the day. Pretty exciting. And I get to show them some cool parts of the mountain, which is exciting too. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Woo we are splitting with our friends here, but they came with some delicious rewards. That's what I'm talking about. I still have about 10K left, but this is gonna help. Thank you, Andrew and Mandy. Cheers. Woo.
just like that, 20 miles, let me stop my watch, 20 miles on the day, I am beat senseless, but I could not have asked for a better day with friends out on the trail, so thank you to my buddy Darren, uh, Andrew and Mandy, my wife, for taking the brunt of it by being home with our sick dog all day. Today was a big one, the biggest one of the week, tomorrow. Easy 17, that's all. Oh my God, I wanna go home. One thing I realized after finishing today, the longest run of the week, is that this is completely approachable. This is a goal that anyone can take on. It's not so far-fetched. My brain was telling me I would never be able to do it. It's just too many miles, my body couldn't take it. I'm not fast enough, it's just never gonna happen. But I'll be honest, every run has been great and doable. Here I am. 83 miles into my week, confident in tomorrow's run and confident in this being something anyone can do. I need to get some calories, some food, I need to hug my wife, say hi to my dog, take a shower and sleep. We're almost done. It is now the final day of the week. Seven days, 83 miles thus far. First run of the day begins. Now, I'm gonna do the first run here on the trails with Kim, and then the second run will probably be in the city with Kim. I'm all smiles. My body is not absolutely feeling yesterday's run for sure. Just counting them down now. Let's wrap this week up. Only a couple miles left. I tricked Ethan to going up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Taking off the last tenth of a mile. Eight miles on the day so far. Another nine left. That's it. We're at 91 miles. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. One more run is all that separates me from a triple digit training week for the first time ever. That's exciting. Just parked, sun is set. Time to get the last nine miles of the week. I cannot wait for this to be over. Got a fun crew of runners to join us tonight. <laughs> so we just clicked over two miles, which makes this my longest official training week ever. That's a pretty cool milestone. Yay! And I feel like I could run another 50. <laughs> pictures. <laughs> One mile, last mile. Woo! Feeling absolutely awesome. miles <laughs> I've never done that and never thought I could it took me years to actually build up the courage to try thank you thank you thank you buddy are you there there I'm there there Mandy and Andrew thank you guys best wife ever I love you good job thank you really proud of you we are officially done
So I had this goal. A project that I never had the guts to try is now complete. As I get back to training, it feels so good to end the year on a high note and excites me even further to see what projects I can create in 2020. I hope you look back on 2019 with grace and are inspired to find your own projects. There's no better time than now to lace up the shoes and challenge yourself in new and fun ways. Give it a shot. You might surprise yourself.